Hey guys, Aaron here, Melody behind the camera. Hi. Welcome to House of Aha. So this is a review of our experience and camping and what we've seen in the state parks available here in Iowa, our 41st state during our travels we've been going through. So the first two I'm gonna mention, which is gonna be the Stone Park State Park Campground and then the Lewis and Clark State Park Campground. Those two we actually did not stay at, uh, not because they weren't very nice places, but they were very early into our travels going through Iowa and we wanted to see how much further we can get like the one we're here right now, which we'll talk about. So the first one at Stone Park we went to, it's off of Highway 12 and um, had about, I don't know, 15 to a dozen more campsites available there. It had uh, showers. Showers seem to be consistent throughout the Iowa State Parks. The price range for most of the state parks seems to be, if you want tent camping, it's going to be about 11 bucks. If you want electric, it's going to be $16. And if you're looking for full hookups, for like RV with water and things like that, you're looking to pay about 19 all in all, that's a fairly reasonable price to what we've seen for other campsites across the country, particularly on this half of the country. So I'd recommend if you're looking to camp in Iowa, I would, I would definitely say check it out. The other thing we went to was the Lewis and Clark State Park. That was off uh, Highway 29, I believe. Um, that was a really- it's Interstate 29. Inter excuse me, Interstate 29. Again, beautiful campground. They all seem very well maintained, very well kept after. Bathrooms were extremely clean. That one actually had flush toilet bathrooms. Um, again, also had showers in it. Um, however, in that one, as far as we could tell, it was all electric sites. Everything seemed to be set up for more RV use. Yep, no $11 camping. No $11 and, camping available. And, and then conversely, at Stone State Park, there was no full hookup. There was no full hookup, so you had electric on them and then you had tent camping for the $11 fee. So if you're looking at whatever you're geared for, if you want to check those out, we'd say just check ahead on their website to see what's available, what's down there. But that seems to be available, what's out there. A lot of them seem, the majority of them seem to have electric sites, so you're looking more in that $16 price range. Um, again, very well maintained, very beautiful place, lots of nice forest around them. Um, the Lewis and Clark one was actually on the side of a river and it had a keel ship exhibit over there so which I thought was kind of cool it also had a basketball court and what appeared to be a movie screen Did that seemed right to you Melody like on the side of one of the buildings so they did uh, yeah it looked type. like well it looked like maybe for Rangers to do shows like because there was a little kind of amphitheater seating right yes. there so um, the one we eventually made our way to which is this here which is the Prairie of Rose campground um, and as far as the best place I can tell you that is near it's near the town of Harlan and they can get the directions to go from there. This one again has the tent, $11 tent setups, which is what we're at right now. And then it's got the you know electric for 16 and then the full hookups for 19. Each of those spots, as far as what they have available, each has its own section. So the hookups are in one section, the tents for this are in one section, and then the electrics are in another. This one also has some cabins, I believe, like at the $35 price range. That's which what again, it said. And it said they sleep bad. like six and have microwaves and stuff in there. That's so. pretty good. 35 for a, a campsite cabin is, is really decent because usually you're looking at 45 or plus above that for that. I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> <laughs> so the only thing I will say as far as because all the things for this, like I said for the previous ones, well maintained, um, the bathrooms are very clean. Um, this one appears to have, a, it does have a shower room like in the middle of the campground, so if you want to take a shower, it's available for you. Um, it has vaulted pit toilets, all well maintained, lots of toilet paper, nothing really dirty about them. They, they didn't smell bad at all. It's but, pit toilets on the tent camping side, yeah. and there's flush toilets on the, on the electric, electric side, side with the, the showers. And exactly. And it's, I think they're free showers, not pay showers. Which is rare because again most of the places we've been on had showers you're looking at forking in some quarters of a shower run on you so the thing i will say about the for the prairie rose one that as far as our tent camping none of the tent camping sites are level they're all on a slight hill um, we've discovered this because you know we camp inside the back of chewy got our bed inside there so when we try to park the car we're looking for level camping where our heads and our feet are not at weird angles you know through the night we really couldn't find that. Um, we checked out all the little campsites around here for the tent camping. It seems there's at least a dozen to 15 or more, you know, tent camping sites, but they're all slightly on a hill or an angle. It's weird. So, um, but for 11 bucks, it's not bad. Uh, the forest is pretty. Um, anything else you want to say about it as far as Prairie Rose? Well, they've got a few mosquitoes running around here, and there's a lot yeah. of active animals at night in the woods, even though we didn't really 
get to see any, but we heard, from all night We heard long. someone banging on a trash can somewhere. It does not appear to be bears, based as far as there's been no bear notices around. I, know, I don't know if Iowa has bears or not, but we always gauge that on the garbage cans because if the garbage cans have the bear protection on, good odds are good there's gonna be bears or something like that around here, but these were just regular dumpsters and trash cans, which suggests to me there's no bears. And that's always a big plus when you don't have to worry about bears when you're camping. Yeah, we were the only ones in this whole area. There's way more than a ourselves. dozen sites, but um, but there's nobody here except in the RV sites. I don't know if it's the time of the year. This is just after middle September. Yeah. So, but it's really nice. You can probably hear the wind whipping through here, which is keeping us cool. And the sites are shady, lots of trees. Yes. They do have a problem with the emerald ash beetles. So they're also struggling with their forests around here. So they ask you yeah. to declare any out-of-state firewood. So, You're not you know, please be respectful outside. of these forests because there's some really cool trees here. I don't even know what they are, but they look <laughs> really cool. I've been trying to pin the smell down. As soon as we got into the forest in Iowa, I'm like, something about this smells familiar. And I was like, is it cedar or what is it? I nailed it last night. I figured out what it was. It smells like a humidor. Like if you get like a little wooden humidor to keep cigars in or things like that, the wood lining on that smells just like this forest. It's very kind of musky and sort of sweet smelling and I absolutely love it. I want to get as a clump. So Iowa has surprised me. I really didn't know what to expect and what the camping was going to be like here. But what I've seen so far is, is as far as the state campgrounds and, and what's around here, it's, it's nice. Like their campgrounds are, are really nice. I would come back to Iowa camping anytime. Um, also, if you want to, they seem to be really big if you want to make reservations on your campsite. So if you got a group coming in, you want to make sure you have your spot available, things like that. Um, I would just check out the um, their websites as it's far as the reservations. It's the Reserve America where you have to do yeah. it and they charge you an $8 fee, but that is true. That's not going to change because the, the whole country, state parks, national parks are all using that website and true. it's going to cost you. But you can, it is available if you do want that. So um, all in all, two thumbs up, I'd say to Iowa on its camping. Um, after here, we're gonna head to Illinois and we'll do a review of our camp, our time camp in Illinois as far as what it's gonna be like there. I really have no idea what we're gonna be running into. So I look forward for us discovering and then sharing that information with you guys. So as you wanna go camping across the country, or maybe go nomadic like we do or things like this, we can give you a little heads up about what's available for you. So if you have any questions or anything like that, drop us in our uh, comment section down there. We'll happen to answer whatever we can. If you have any experience about camping in Iowa yourself or places you'd recommend to someone who's never been here before. Really what the thing we're doing is for people who have never been to this part of the country, have never camped here before, we want to share our experience with you. So we hope we give you a little heads up, maybe help you pick out where you want to stay or give you some you know, information like that. Did I cover it, Melody? Anything else we need to go over? Or I think we got everybody everything we I need to know. I think we got it all. I think so too. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, thank you for checking in. And as always, have a reasonable day.